Alrighty. Howdy, neighbors, and welcome back to the case book of Arnie. 1 2. Yes. Uh. Last time I forgot exactly what we were doing, but this time. I'm gonna fuck it up. You! I was gonna see all these. I forgot how to read. Uh. If it isn't Mistress Lynn. You're so jumpy. You scared me with that. Gordon told me to call for thou. So I was fretting when neither of you were here. Or neither, Lucy. Where did you go? I did it. Doth be worried. <coughs> oh, sorry. It seemed Diana wanted to be alone for a little longer. Who are the white Elise? Is there something about that closet? Huh? Um... This thou not know. I adorest closets. I love the way they look. Verily, I was simply staring at it. The, 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 there doth be nothing at all inside this closet. I am not suspicious in the least wise. That is way too suspicious. Please, let me see inside. You can't. There is, um... <clears throat> Some underwear. That is much too risque for thee, mistress. I'm sure they're all just teddy bear pattern. It seems Elise obviously doesn't want me to see what's inside. What would Elise want to hide? Could have to do with that sound I heard on my way to Father's room. It might be time to tell little Fib. Bluffin! I should Elise, I saw it. Saw you. Ah. Break. Hey, break it. You see, I caught you in the act. I saw you break the vase. What? Are the crashing sound? We went to look. You were there. Um. Nay, I tell you, that isn't true. I just knocked it over. That's all. It's still. It's, oh. It's still at the B right there on the second floor, right, right? No, it isn't. That's the one that was formerly in the storeroom. Because the vase I was missing from the storeroom. Ah, well, surely Burn must have taken it then. Diana said it herself. The Burn is a thief, forsooth. <clears throat> She's so hard to read for. Elise, do you also think Burn is stealing things? I'm sure it must be so. If you want me to give back everything Burn gave me, say it the word and I will. I had no idea he was doing such vile things. Really? Even if Burn being a thief is true, it's not going to blame everything on him, is it? Why would test you believe me? This reaction makes it clear she's hiding the base. This isn't going... To just tell me the truth at this rate. What else can I do? Maybe. I told me there was a thing Elise had not returned to the kitchen. What has something to do with this? Then Elise, what about you know what? Uh, should have said know what? You should have known to be found either. And it doesn't appear to be somewhere out in the open in this room either. So where did it go? Where did the glass go? <coughs> Father's glass. You always return it to the kitchen. But I told me that you hadn't. It isn't in Father's room. And it's not in this room either. So where is it? Did you break it alongside the vase? Uh, also, if you could go into more detail about the risque underwear later. But please at least spare me that. It's too soon for thee to engage in these things. Elise, seriously, what kind of underwear is this? <clears throat> Perfection! Rewards! Risque underwear out of ten notes! I hate it! <laughs> no! Awful. Hey, um. Zizi? He can see this. I 
so he tried to pour the water from the glass to the vase and broke both. I was very late the night before searching for you, Mistress Lynn. So even the act of going to the kitchen made me very sleepy. Sorry about that too. After breaking the vase, you were hastily cleaning the hallway looking for a replacement. And that's when I heard of Burns' voice. I had just finished destroying the evidence and was standing by the second floor of vase with relief. I see. Why did you have to do all that to hide it? I feared of. Hmm? I was afeared of Gordon yelling at me. Ha! Huh? You doth not know, Mrs. Lynn, the true rage Gordon can unleash. <laughs> he yells at me at least of the day, and yesterday I was sent. Oh, I was sent to break with my record. Again, Elise, he's starting to scare me up to death. Don't you realize it was just Lynn? Since around the hundredth thing, oh, since around the hundredth thing I broke, my senses have become numb. I've come to think it's only natural that I break things. Why don't he yell at me so? I'm only doing something natural. Mrs. Lynn, please keep this from Gordon. Please keep this sick. <laughs> Shit, Gordon. How doth he do? Sure enough, that broken vase was your doing. Now, would you tell me all about it, Mrs. Lynn? I'm sorry. Please forgive with me. Elise, we'll go to my room. Mrs. Lynn, I'm terribly sorry, but our discussion about the future must wait until I was calmed down. Yeah. Hang in there, Elise. Soon enough, the broken vase and glass are here. Not much else of note. Still, steadily working these things out is important, surely. To be able to expose Diana and Elise's lies on my own. Yeah, this is fine. I can manage this even by myself. Then it will take time for everyone to settle down. I should go back to my room and sort out what I've learned. Info, glass, updated notes. There's something on the wall. Oh my god, the music! What's this about? Waiting in the courtyard. This is from Lord Arnie. I wonder why. No one apologized once more or something. No, surely not, but. He was supposing he did apologize. Would I be able to forgive him? If we end up working together to investigate again. Yes, I should really give some thought how to handle the relationship between us. At any rate, I'll go. <clears throat> Why are you being stupid right now? Like, obviously, this is not gonna work out for anybody. Hey, Lord Artie. Don't be a dick. Ooh, it's dark out. So spooky. He lied. He's not in the courtyard. Our dogs bared their face and howled, preparing to loop the bell any moment. The dogs leapt straight ahead. The girl just really dodged out of the way. What's wrong with you? It's me. Eek. Please stop it.
stage you were cornered. I still haven't accomplished anything. And yet, someone will me. You called. Arnie, why didn't you leave? What would I need to leave for? Zane didn't want to see my face, so I simply stayed someplace where you wouldn't. More to the point, why are you out here being attacked? I don't understand it either. Why are these dogs? Why does he have a cat? Talk about gnawing off an arm that feeds you. Never heard of that. It's a saying in Japan. It's not. It's not. It's biting the hand that feeds. It's just this barking. They're like dogs. Really, Lord Arnie? I would have never guessed. Look at Maroon. They are dogs. Now I see. So they're, so they're curs who forgot the lessons that they were already taught once. Be gone. Um, thank you so much. Indeed, you should be grateful. I could forgive you just for this, Lord Arnie. Hey, it's about that. There's something I must tell you about. If you're here to listen, that is. What is it? Make it a little long. Let us return to your room. Understood. Kill you too, bitch. Watch. Is that some rake told my body has been taken from me? You think I'm going to believe that? I should hope you will, because it's the truth. In essence, this personality of mine also comes from this body's one remaining heart. And thus, I am... I too am ultimately a puppet. How delightful, is it not? Feel free to laugh. I won't do that. To me, it is Lord Arnie. Hmm, is that so? Let me ask a few questions. What is it? Even if it wasn't your own intention, Lord Arnie, do you have thoughts about the people you attacked? Doesn't matter what I think. It wasn't the current me who did it. But no, I don't have any special thoughts. Then why did you apologize to me? Because it appeared I quite troubled you for having my body taken over by that fellow. It was an apology of uh, for my blunder, in essence. Then one last question. Lord Arnie, are you using me? Indeed I am, for the sake of solving this case. It'll be a pain to gather info from around this fiction all by myself. I'd like to curtail the tedium so as to enjoy the case as much as possible. How about that? Even if we speak to each other, vampires and humans really do think differently, huh? I'm not certain what is, oh, how exactly we differ, but that much should be obvious. Vampires and humans are separate creatures. Humans can't understand the thoughts of animals, yes? Here's so, I feel like if I properly explain my feelings, even he should be able to understand. No, I guess that's wrong. Because even if I understand his explanation, it doesn't mean I'm okay with it. And trying to force different values on others won't resolve anything. But still, the using he talks about. What is it, Lin Ryan? You've gone uh, quiet all of a sudden. Ugh, come on. Why am I the only one so troubled by everything? I start shouting out of the blue. Understand? I'll forgive what you did, Lord Arnie. I don't care if your body was taken over by another vampire or whatever. In fact, it's all your fault to begin with for losing to your own blood, of all things. And sure enough, the fundamental issue lies with you. What are you doing, lo oh, losing when you call yourself the most heinous of vampires? Um, sorry. I might have gone a little too far. Is that how it is? Understood, Lynn Ryan. 
You are irritated by my incompetence. Yes. No, oh, sorry. <clears throat> no, that's not really it, but... Say again. Jeez. Lord Arnie, I... Well, but humans in general, it's painful to be heard by those we're close to. And for whatever reason, you don't understand that. But even if you can't understand, could you at least keep it in mind? Right, I'll keep it in mind. Thank you very much. And also, sorry for hitting you. Don't worry about it. You might as well have been petting me. More importantly, I've been eager to hear the, what information you've gathered. More importantly... Understood. Alright, listen well to my efforts. Is this enough, I wonder? It feels like only a temporary measure. If we keep investigating together, I run into another conflict. Enough of that. Organizing our information comes first for now. This is a long chapter. Well, that's everything I've learned. And what I know about the vampire... Mmm, nosh! Hmm, I have no issues with your findings about the actions of the humans, but... You say, nosh. Is known as the Lord of Shadows and is belligerent with a serious appetite. Isn't that far too little to go off of? What do you expect? There's not much in the literature. Very well, I suppose. This case is connected with Nash's heart, isn't it? Your father likely used it out of his desire to revive your mother. Perhaps it was even no, oh, perhaps it was even the killer themselves who taught him the black magic of receiving er, reviving the dead. Or receiving it, whatever. The Rhine protege is convenient as well. The influence held by nobles can often extend over the police after all. Furthermore, whatever his methods, it was your father gathering human parts. If his mental state was unstable as well. It would be easy to pin all the blame on blame on him indeed. And I suppose so, but I will never forgive them for using father's feelings. Well then, allow me to switch your information to help reveal said killer. Yes, go right ahead. Blood back, dull display, talk time! What is this? Cute, so cute! Alright, it's your first time seeing this. Something, what is stage made for my blood? Evilly, bloodily, adorably, annoying! I thought it good to see you turning out, but stop that at once. Nah, I started doing it subconsciously. Everything I'd been suddenly dipping in. You know, just like that. It's a hey, Lenny! Here's something you might appreciate. It's icy. What is it? Oh, he's bored all the time, so he practices doing this all by himself. That's too cute. I just want to decorate my room with you. Nope, not possible. The blood returns to my body when it's done. You know. I was talking about you, Lord Ernie. Me. Boy, Lenny, you really are strange. Nothing of the sort. You really again. Um, well, you see, when humans get excited, their body temperature rises. He said, Lord, that sweat. Go nowhere. Let us ignore Lynn Ryan. Oh, what? Please let me join in this too. You become awfully bothersome all of a sudden when the subject is vampires. Just stay there and be quiet. Give it to me. Let's organize the information Lynn Ryan gathered. Oh my god, it's been so long. <laughs> no! So many save times. Delectable. Oh, why do we why do we have a time? Alright, first. Hold on a second. We gotta wrap up the mansion and dolls everywhere. Don't be so surpri oh. Don't be so surprised at every turn. That's not happening. Let's just ignore you for a while. All that needs to be made clear in this case, ultimately, is who killed Lynn Ryan's father. Thus, the only actions we need to inspect are those of the humans in the mansion before and after the incident. The 
first ones to ask the four room where I received the call from her father were the two maids. First, the short maid left her room to go to the kitchen. And so she met the guard and the chef, neither of whom moved until the incident occurred, yes? Yes, that's what they said. Certainly, I take it you asked the guard and the maid for cook individually. Well, naturally, we should all three separately. Now we need the same story. It's good. Now let's proceed. Well, this short maid is in the kitchen. And another person left her room. She'll let you know where she was headed. Of course. Where's the guest bedroom? The guest room on the second floor. Precisely. How do you know what happened in this order? Actually, I was watching from this mirror here. Zeiss is to kill you! As Zeiss saw both maids head to the second floor. They all made pass by here first. Oh, I see. In short, if I don't try to go to the third floor, they would be witnessed by Zeiss on the second floor, with the guard in the dining room. I see. Of course, the guard is also a suspect, so we can't fully believe him. But for the moment, there are no contradictions in the people he claimed to witness or the times. In addition, as I see, is generally watching everything, and it should be no issue to proceed like this. Understood. And she waited here. We left the kitchen, right around when the gardener was spotted in the back. Action. The gardener wanted to reach the maid waiting on the same floor, but... The ladder? Yes. Incidentally, as I see, also saw the two of them in the guest room. Oh, they didn't need to see through Diana's loss. You can generally assume that Zaisi saw everything in any room with mirrors. They're hard work. They quickly went into a blind spot, and I didn't know what they were doing. So Liddy did good. I sure did. Well, but there's no way to verify whether what the maid said is true or not. Unless he hadn't seen them, he wouldn't know if she really was in the guest room. By the way, Lin Ryan. Yes. Do you think it would be possible to carry the ladder on the terrace on the second floor? I wonder. That ladder is really big. Kai always seems to just drag it around. This is a fence on the terrace. It would probably be hard to do alone, yeah? Indeed. So I see. Is there any indication that the gardener left the room alone when we entered the mansion? Not just limited to the second floor guest rooms. Say, the third floor guest room as well. Unfortunately, I didn't see. Right, understood. Yeah, but it's not past the room. Yes, yes, we get it. Midnight. Okay. The maid went to her master's room right at midnight every night. Then she recalled that this day, she had been told he didn't need water. Just around this time, then Ryan received a call from her father. They both begin to move. The maid couldn't be bothered to return the glass to the kitchen. She tried to transfer the water to the vase, but both broke. While she was doing this, Lynn Ryan her tries going to her father's room. And there she arrived. How much of the maid's actions afterward? I don't want to destroy everyone's blood. Enough. Yes. Don't go this way. In the base. 
before Elise heard the first witness burn scream. It seems she was in the storm room. Her wouldn't surprise me if she was searching for the base the whole time. She's so demoted. That's true. In summary. Let's say she took about five minutes to out. And then searching in the storeroom for the base when you delightfully passed out. I mean delightfully. If only she had left cleaning up the base for later, she could have entered the storeroom sooner. This time everyone but the guard was inside a room. A convenient time to act without anyone seeing. As for this butler, it's not even necessary to give the thought. Given the placement of his room, he'd inevitably encounter someone going anywhere. If you want to decide what he passed, his eyes is mirror. If you want to eat, he'd encounter the guard. That's right. After doing some reading in his room, Gordon apparently talked with Heinz in the kitchen. Byrne says he saw him too, so there's no contradiction with Heinz's testimony, or Heinz's testimony. Then at Lambos, he talked to the chef guy. Food money for next week and budgets, apparently. What a serious and dull old coot. Dull old coot. Such a crude way to treat him. At 12.30, the guard was evidently called for by her father. And Byrne didn't seem to know why he was called. The your father said something about leaving the house together, did he not? Yes. If that's indeed what was going on, perhaps the guard was meant to be the first witness. Meant to be. There was the corpse was the your father, yes? Wanting him to see it and think he'd been murdered. Well, though he was, in fact, murdered. Who does not like that? But wait, why not just let the mace covered in the morning? Indeed, I could see no merit in making the guard discovered. Perhaps it wasn't in the killer's plan. Oh, no more possibilities and make it all the more delightful. There's nothing delightful about it. The guard used the key to open the door. Found you uncouthly passed down next to the corpse and screamed. Come on, what's that uncouthly for? By the way, your father was holding his room key. Who else had a duplicate key? Besides Burned, the butler, Gordon, and the two maids also had keys. That's far too many. Oh, but at least doesn't have one anymore. About a month ago, she flushes down the toilet. Since then, she hasn't been allowed her own. Instead, she has to borrow Gordon's. And if she doesn't give it back right away, she can steal that. What kind of system is that? Well then, back to the short maid. Just before the guard came to court, she went down to the second floor to replace the vase. Yeah, she said burn scream almost caused her to break that vase too. In response to the guard's pathetic scream. The short maid. Oh. The doll maid. Diana. Two of them assembled. What was the guard doing at the time? Burns extremely averse to blood, so he was. Seems he tried to. Huh? Burns can't stand inside of blood at all. For instance, at least sometimes blunders and kisses her finger. Every time Burns runs over in a worry, that little bit of blood ma makes him faint. What a useless fellow. Isn't the fact you might discover a corpse someday the best part of being gone? I hope that's a really rare occurrence. On the other hand, impulsively he could become a guard. Well, anyway, the maids then called for the others. And they too was That includes our sorting out of the info. We also have a sufficient idea of motives. However, before we consider who the killer is, there's one thing I want to confirm with you. What is it? 
Lynn Ryan, those dogs of yours do quite superb. Indeed, they will attack anyone but specific people, as demonstrated earlier. Yes, they should be friendly only to myself, father, and the gardener Kai. Then why do you think you were attacked? Because Kai is a dick! Kill Kai. Hmm. It's simple. There was something different about you. You were attacked, in fact, because they were too talented. Something different. So, just what was it? <laughs> oh no! It's appearance! Wait a second. It's appearance. Because she doesn't wear the jumpsuit. Because it's wearing my tracksuit. Do you always wear the same clothes around your dogs? No, no, of course not. Also, I should have seen the tracksuit before. Fuck. So it has to be sent. After I regained consciousness, I had blood on my clothes, so I changed. But I'm sure just changing clothes to with the scent of someone else's blood. I noticed it myself, but maybe the dog just wanted to it. Exactly. I'm sensitive to the smell of blood as well. I know it's faint, I do smell of blood. And it's not your own. I'm short. Hold on a second. What? I was getting to the important part. Oh, it blood on the back. She got big again. Wait, not that! You can smell blood on me too, Lord Orny! I said as much, didn't I? And so... No, 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 no! Not and so! That's really kind of embarrassing! Hmm? Look, it's fine. Now. No, it's not! Now that I think about it, I've been bathed two nights in a row! Ah, oh, now that I think about it, I can't stop. I can't focus on what you're saying like this. I'm going to go take a bath. Hey, hold on. Talk later. As I see. Lynn, right? I know, leave it to me. Oh, but I won't look inside the bath, of course. I'm a gentleman, see? Yes, yes, so you say. But still, why are Lynn Ryan taking a bath all of a sudden? You definitely don't get a girl's heart, Arnie. I mean, you need to get human feelings first. What are you talking about? Did she properly understand why she was attacked by the guard dogs? The note that called for her. The knowledge that she had the scent of blood on her. Clearly, she's the next one the killer is after. Maybe she was embarrassed enough that she couldn't even afford to consider that stuff. Utterly unbelievable. I'm revived. Truly, Lord Arnie has no delicacy. Our vampires turned out to be completely different from what I had imagined. It's really kind of a shock. I've been so disillusioned. But vexing as it is, their abilities are still cool. Really enough, what's with you, Lord Arnie? When I think of it, I wonder if vampires take baths. Or that they can't stand running water. I should ask him later. Never mind that. I need to thoroughly wash off this blood scent. Lord Arnie hadn't saved me. I might have died. But I'll have the power to protect myself. Of course, I understand that wisdom alone isn't enough. So I need Lord Arnie's help. But... Hmm, I really do need to think about how to go about interacting with him. If Lord Arnie uses me in this case to enjoy himself, and I use the strength and wisdom to help solve this case, but when I say I'm using him to solve the case, aren't I just trusting that he can do it? Isn't this so confusing? Just what is the difference? Humans and vampires, Lord Arnie and I, trusting, using. Hmm? Come to think of it. Why was I attacked? Actually, there was that note in my room. And the fact that I had blood on me. That wasn't a coincidence, was it? Uh-uh. <clears throat> I 
Lynn Ryan, how long are you going to be in there? Isn't this much too long for a bath? Well, now, Lynn Ryan. Ah! Killed by the culprit after all. Ugh. Hmm? Well, you're still alive. I'll get you out of there for now. Lord Arnie, it's clearly a fatal wound, so I thought you were Lance instead. I see, I'm going to die. Even when I'm suddenly on the verge of death, you aren't surprised. Well, I was able to predict it. So, did you see the culprit's face? He suddenly came from behind, so I couldn't see. How useless. That's cruel. It was you who didn't listen to everything I had to say. Right. What in the fuck? What are you laughing about? Mother said she wanted to die smiling. Are you happy to die? That's not it. Did your mother die happy? She said she wanted to live. I see. So, Lynn Run, what about you? I also want to live. This should be obvious, I haven't accomplished anything. Even though I'd finally decided I'd do something on my own, I chose to honor myself. I'll catch Father's killer. No, no, no. I don't want to die yet, I don't want. I see. But very soon, you will undoubtedly die. Told with by the killer. Never to be the starring role. You're a hopeless puppet in the end. Just do as a sporting character does. Step off the stage of this puppet show. But I'll give you small mercy. If you have any last words, I'll hear them. He's my blood. Hmm? I didn't quite catch that. Please suck my blood. Lin Ryan, you. To think you'd be saying that even now. Those who have their blood sucked by a vampire become the vampire's puppet, gaining miraculous healing. But just as it sounds, a puppet is a puppet. With no sense of self, they only obey the vampire. They're saying... Oh, they're saying you wish to live. You could have become a true puppet. And we're talking about a vampire fanatic. So that's not what we mean to say. A puppet is not a vampire. So puppets are not immortal. As such, they cannot recover from such a fatal wound. You. You want the blood and you ends, don't you? I don't need the blood of Noon. Oh? Lord Arnie is fine. What do you mean? Give me Lord Arnie's. Please, give me Lord Arnie's blood. My blood? That different from the blood of Noon. It's me, Lynn Ryan. Just go ahead and die, you. Very well, Lynn Ryan. You may live a little longer. Hey, yo! <laughs> what the? You can still use your voice. Let's figure the middle of I feel like I've done something I really shouldn't have. There, the blood sucking you so desire. Rejoice. I guess it is, but. What the heck was with that reluctant blood sucking? Hmm. You seem to be able to move well enough. Huh? Thank you very much. There's no need to thank me. After all, in just a few minutes, you'll become a mere puppet and meet death. But that happens to me this question. What did you mean, my blood? By Lord Arnie's blood, I mean Lord Arnie's blood. Yes, I'm asking what that means. The blood that runs through my body is that of one of my one remaining heart. I'm sure it isn't mine. Yeah, that's true, but the blood of the other kings is there too, right? Maybe it is. 
Once you dissolve salt into pure water, it becomes salt water, right? No turning it back into pure water. I thought maybe this was the same thing. In other words, the one heart serving as master, the eight other types of blood was the other. That is what my blood is. And now, my blood is mixed in there too. Indeed, vampires cannot digest what they drink. It mixes with their own and enters the body. I see. An interesting thought. I'll keep that in mind. Please don't be sad. Oh. So please don't make me sad by calling yourself a puppet. Ah ha ha. What a thing to be told from someone who's about to become a puppet. Oh, Linwood. I no longer have use for you, but... I shall extend the time until your death. So we enjoy our last conversation. Hmm. I'm thinking about the relation between humans and vampires. No. Me and you. And I thought so deeply about it. I just got myself confused. Hmm. I trust in your strength and wisdom. so I think they can solve this case. But you were using me to investigate the mansion, right? Exactly. Just in using. That's all a matter of the distance between hearts. I had no other option but to get your help, but I'm sure. Even if I had refused to investigate, you could have found another way to solve this case. Naturally. I expect I'll have no problems even when you're dead. Well, of course. You have plenty of information now. However, with the death of my client, my duty to solve the case also disappears. No, I'm going to solve the case. Let's give it up, Lynn Ryan. What are you trying to get at? You mentioned your relation with me. Lord Arnie, I... I'm going to use you. <laughs> Use me! You a human. <laughs> Such a fool of two last moments, Lynn Ryan. Is, uh, you were at least a little amusing. What do you think I would accept having you use me? If I let myself be used, it would not be interesting. Hmm. But if that were an interesting turn of events, what then? Well, I said, I've, I'm going to use you. I do truly believe in your abilities. I can't imagine I'd be able to solve this case without your help, Lord Arnie. Who told this case is over? Use me. Have me dance in your palm and entertain you. Go ahead and use me as a tool. If that really is, the appropriate save for me. For this show we've been having until now was the appropriate for you. Of course it wasn't. I'm not a puppet. I'm a human with my own will. There's no way the puppet show I've been a part of until now was where I belong. I... I'm the star of the show. Only I can be the lead role for this case. Any play in which I'm not the star is a complete piece of junk. Ha ha ha! You want me to once more put on a show where you are the star. Lord Arnie. Are you going to say you can only put on puppet shows made of blood? And being manipulated by a human with a will. As a human, because you're human. Well, then, Ryan, did you not say it yourself? I don't understand the feelings of humans. Do you think I can put on such a show? You can always use it for guidance, right? Well, certainly, show. Oh, certainly let you do so. It doesn't. Oh. And doesn't the added difficulty pose? By you not understanding me make things more delightful. Furthermore, my delightfulness is Lord Arnie approved. Ha 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 ha. Indeed. You never met a human so delightful as you. I do know. If I'm the audience of this thinker of the show you had, I'm going the heck out of it. I'm thinking, give me my money back. It's a client, too. I'm terminating my contract with this lousy detective. I've already paid a fee up front, so I've had a right to take it back. Ha 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 ha! I see, terminated the contract. Ah, paying you back. I never thought of that. So delightful. You are truly delightful, Linron. Take it back, don't you? My blood. 
Are you saying that with a true understanding of what it means to give you your blood? Yes. Trading our blood, in other words, performing the blood pact. Turning you into a vampire. However, I shouldn't make it clean up front. There's no guarantee the blood pact will succeed. Even so. If there's a chance I can survive. To both use you, and to be used by you. I'm not going to die. Right, get up, Lunarine. Now, have you any final words as a human? Even if my body becomes a vampire's, I'm sure my heart will remain human. There's no need for final words. Ha ha ha, I see. And let us begin, Lunarine. Oh my. Ye of pure white, be dyed crimson in your eternity. Thy soul will be forever trapped here, your body rendered meaningless. Upon the name of Arne Noin, this I declare. The name of our new buffoonish compatriot is Lin Ryan. Now let us dance together joyously. Clean this up before anybody else sees. This is up to you, Linrine. Rise once more onto the stage. Literally, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Look at him! He's so wiggly! <laughs> He's like the crazy inflatable arm flailing tube man. Join the case. I am confused. <laughs> okay, on to the real business. Mine is about to find the killer. But do you want to try finding him first? And don't worry, you got all the information you need to reason things out. Uh, it looks like Arnie will need a little more time to notice. Uh, we need one more photo there. We need uh, the the Nash. Nash guy. Nash needs to be there too. Well now, who could the killer of Lynn's father be? Could also just be the dad. Who, me? Heck, I don't know. Not that I'll tell you even if I did. How's that? Give it your best shot. Got it? Alright. Oh, you messed up with your reasoning here and there on the way here, huh? Too bad. I had a reward for you and everything. Well, if you feel like it, try getting here one more time. The parts that matter for my reward are... The confirmation with the maids. 
Diana and Elise, as well as the guard burned. Don't mess them up this time, alright? Well, that's the end of this installment of the Casebook of Arnie. Alrighty then, see ya. Again, we need to add two more photos. So that's it for part two of case one of the case books. We're about to move on to part three of case one. Hmm. So, thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you later.